Hey, Bye, what's play. up, player? This is Catch22, and welcome to our first ever episode of Segaholic Viewer Q&A, where I pick out questions or comments left in the comments section. First comment or question is from Paul Canavan, or Motobug, where he says, You might have killed the controller board after you plugged the controller in once the system was turned on. The board is known to fry after plugging in or unplugging a controller while it has power. And Epic Rive chimed in, I have heard this a lot around forums and allegedly it only happens if you plug in and out a crappy non-original controller while the system is on, but the original Sega pads and official accessories don't cause any trouble. Well, I have my Hello Kitty Dreamcast that I fixed a few weeks back and, and let's see you know, if unplugging or unplugging, the controller will fry it. I don't have a non-official Sega controller, so we'll just have to see if unplugging or plugging in an official controller will break it. Well, that answers your question. Unplugging or plugging in a good controller that's non-broken uh, will probably not break your Dreamcast. On to the next question. And this is from OTT or Ott. The karaoke unit is massive, laughing my ass off. Did they really need another CPU just for karaoke? Well, let's see. Here's a closer look at the ICs, two main ICs that I see with an IVL branding. Here's an IC right here and this looks like uh, it's some sort of uh, processor or uh, controller. Now when I tried searching for IVL semiconductor or IVL chips, you will not find anything on this company. Only until I searched for IVL controller is when I found their website. It's actually a Canadian audio company and they specialize in uh, making technologies for pitch detection, pitch shifting, pitch correction, vocal transformation, and noise reduction, which obviously would pertain to the karaoke application here. In summary, it looks like it uses an IVL processor or controller for effects similar to what you would see on audio mixers with FX features. And last question from a John Pellet. Um, he asked, did they reuse the Santa's power supply on the Dreamcast? They look pretty similar. Well, let's see. This I already know the answer to. Let me just show you visually. You can see the size difference here. The thing about power supplies is, in the electronics world, there are mainly two voltages needed to power up electronics. One is five volts, uh, which would power up ICs like this, and then obviously 12 volts, where um, you would power uh, different things like uh, relays and whatnot. Before I close this out, I'd like to thank the old subscribers as well as the new subscribers. The channel has over 300 subscribers now. I'm super stoked about that. I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.